Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a few haul videos for you that I'm going to try and film pretty quickly um, this evening. They're not too large. Um, this one is actually going to be the largest of the three. And um, it's actually two combined orders. So let me just go ahead and jump right in and I'll give you a little bit more details about the orders. But this is from Rainbow Melts. And there is the information there. The owner's name is Crystal. Um, she has fantastic wax. If you haven't had a chance to try her stuff, I definitely recommend that you you try to. Um, she has a little note on there, thanks and happy holidays, and just a cautionary note about the about melting wax. And then, um, so these orders, there's two orders here. One was from her Black Friday opening slash sale. Um, which she did a restock. So Crystal does all ready to ship, at least right now. She does have a custom order list she's working off of in her Facebook group. But um, it's been closed for a while and she was slowly working her way through it. And now she's not, she maybe about a month or two ago said she wasn't going to work on it anymore until, until the new year. So that's not really an option right now because she's not adding new names to it. But she, so she mostly does ready to ship. Um, so she did her big kind of Christmas restock on Black Friday and she offered 25% off, which was a fantastic deal. And I wasn't quite sure if I was going to order, um, but then I think the time that she opened, it was 10 o'clock Pacific. Um, so maybe was it like 12, I think it was like 12.01 Central Time, 12.01 AM on Black Friday, you know, in early morning, obviously. Um... And so it worked out that, you know, Thursday night at like 10.01 for me is really easy to be able to jump on her site and order. So I went ahead and, and placed an order. And then also, well, prior to that, she had posted on her Facebook group that she was going to do some Christmas samplers. And it was a limited quantity. I think it was like 15 to 20, maybe about 20. And it was the basically the first 20 or so people that commented me that were interested and um, so I did both of those. I checked with her to see if the Christmas sampler, because it was a mystery, we didn't know what sense we were going to get, if it was going to be the same as what was in a restock. She said there might be a little bit of the same stuff, but mostly no. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and order from her Black Friday sale. And then I had was able to get my name on the list for the Christmas um, mystery box. And so they arrived within a couple days of each other. So I thought I would go ahead and film them together. And I think there was only two scents that overlapped, but that is a-okay with me because they're both really good scents. So anyhow, um, to start with my order that I actually placed for Black Friday, just to kind of show you guys, this is, um, this is the order. And you can see here, um, my order was $39.56 before shipping, and I got $13.19 off. So that is a fantastic deal. Um, she has just a little note. Thanks, Crystal. And then her packaging. So this is the packaging for... Sorry, it's going to get a little dark here. Let me lift this up a little bit. This is the packaging for her... The Black Friday sale. You have all the, the shreddy paper here. And everything was wrapped in cute tissue paper. And same thing with my... Christmas sampler, except that it was wrapped in the same cute tissue paper, which I should actually save this and use it for Christmas gifts. Super cute, right? And then she also had a couple items stuck in these cute little decorative bags. So she just does a great job with packaging everything up. Everything is always very colorful. It definitely suits the name of her company, Rainbow Melts. So let me go ahead and jump right in. And, um, oh, samples. So with the Black Friday sale purchase, I did get a little bag, a little candy cane bag, and it included the candy cane. Yay. Let me see. I'll just stick that back there. And then I did get a couple samples. The first one is Elf Sweat, which I did get this in my order as well. So I will talk about it a little bit more, but it is a little grubby star. But I'll talk about it when I get to the item that I actually purchased. And then the other sample is Snow Angel, which the scent description's not on here. But I also got this 
I think this one came in my Christmas sampler, so I'll talk about that one when I get to that. And so now for the actual items that I ordered in the sale. So I will start up here in the front. Um, this first one, it's two Christmas trees. And this is Aroma Blizzard. And this is spruce, vanilla with a hint of lemon, apple, pine, pear, hyacinth, cinnamon, mint, and complete with sandalwood and cedar. So this is just a very, very Christmassy kind of pine scent. There's a little bit of kind of a citrus note to it, but a lot of those items listed like the apple and the pear and the cinnamon, I'm not really picking up on. I think I am picking up a little bit on the sandalwood and the cedar, but this is very nice. But this is definitely a Christmas scent because the strongest note is the pine, but it smells really good. So got that and I will just move this kind of out of the way there. And then let's see, I'll start from the back. So then she had these three packs, which so you get three tarts like this and they're super cute with the snowflake imprints. And so this first one is let it snow. And this is fantastic. It's snow taffy, peppermint swizzle sticks and frosted white cake. And this basically just smells like white cake with frosting and just a hint, a minor, minor hint of like a minty note, that peppermint note. But it's almost like just a hint of candy cane. And it's not real strong. If you're not a huge fan of peppermint and you like just maybe a touch of peppermint, this is a great scent. And this is fantastic. So very, very good. So super excited to try that. And these are really good size melts. So you can definitely, if it's in a really large area, you may need two. Um, but I think this is definitely one that you can just melt one of. So it's a good size. Also in this cute three pack of snowflakes, I got elf snacks. And this is sugar cookie, sweet gooey marshmallow and peppermint. Now on cold, I'm not really picking up any of the peppermint. Maybe just uh, the like slightest hint ever. It's definitely stronger on the sugar cookie and the marshmallow, which is nice because it actually makes this like a year round scent, but it's creamy, it's sweet, it just smells delicious. Makes you wanna eat it. So really excited for that one. And let's see, go back here. I tried to have everything out so you guys could see it and not have to look through the bags. Now first, this looks fantastic. This looks like a real cookie with the sprinkles that you could eat. I'm sure if I set this on a table at Christmas, someone would pick it up and try to eat the thing. And this is sent in reindeer cookies, which is oatmeal cookies and brown sugar pecan. You really get the oatmeal cookie in this. And then it's kind of just sweetened up with that brown sugar pecan. So it has a little bit of kind of a roasted, nutty, sweet scent. It's really, really good. And this is a great size. I mean, you can see it's like bigger than my palm. So I would probably cut this into fours actually and melt it like that. Oh, just delicious. A beautiful, delicious bakery scent. Um, so this one, let's see. And all these shapes are just adorable. So this is a four pack in Reeves and I love how they're pink. It's just too cute. And this is Baby It's Cold Outside with Spearmint, Peppermint, and Pink Sugar. And you definitely get the pink sugar and the spearmint. Um, I think I get the pink sugar first, and then the spearmint, and then just a hint of peppermint. Mm, but that is fantastic. If you're a pink sugar lover with like the peppermint and the spearmint, this is fantastic. So, you know, with her being a ready to, um, ready to ship company and limited stock, it's kind of a mad rush to get your order placed and, and get checked out. And so I did get a second bag of that. I wasn't trying to order two, but I am completely happy with the fact that I have an extra bag because the scent is fantastic. And that second bag is in the snowflakes because what she did is she made all of these scents in various shapes. So if you wanted them in the reeds or the snowflakes or whatever. And so I kind of just started going down the list um, of the different shapes and adding things that sounded good. And I was trying not to duplicate what I was adding to my cart, but obviously I did and that's fine. 
um, because I you can never have too much rainbow melts in my opinion because her stuff is fantastic. So this next one, which is a four pack in snowflakes, is Snow Angel, and she has glitter on those. Isn't that beautiful? And this is amazing. This is strawberry, peppermint, and cotton candy. Oh, and I get the strawberry and the cotton candy first. Those are the strongest. And then she does a good job with blending her peppermints because they do not overpower the other scents. And so I get a little bit of that peppermint, but it's not crazy strong. So it's like a nice, sweet strawberry with a little hint of peppermint. Oh, this is fantastic. And so this is the one that the sample actually came in. So I thought it was in the Christmas sampler, but no, it was in my actual order. So I can't keep it all straight, but that's okay. Um, so down here, I got another two pack of Christmas trees, if I can get them. So here's the second one. This is in Deck the Halls, and this is Rich Fur Notes. Orange peel, garlands of cranberry, dried lemon slices, golden spun sugar, and a touch of vanilla. Oh, this one is beautiful. Of the two, like pine, spruce, whatever scents that I got um, in this order, this is my favorite. This one is fantastic because I can smell the orange, I can smell the cranberry, I get that like citrusy note of the lemon, and it's sweet, and there's vanilla, but then there's just the, the rich fur notes. And even though I think like pine and fir and spruce and balsam are all in the same family. I do find that I prefer like balsam and fir and spruce because I think they all are a little bit sweeter than just pine. I think pine has a harsher note to it. Um, whereas I think the balsam and fir and spruce scents, which could probably vary from each other, I think they're more, um, they're more true to what a Christmas tree scent it smells like to me. But this is a fantastic scent. I actually wish I got more of this one. Oh, just a beautiful, like citrusy um, Christmas tree scent. And there's a little bit of sweetness with that vanilla and stuff in there. So it's fantastic. So I got another four pack of the reeds. And this one is super cute. This one is green. And this is holiday cookie. Oh, sorry, holiday cookie swap. And this is Danish butter cookies, sugar cookie, snickerdoodle cookie, and oatmeal butterscotch cookie. So this is just like cookies galore. So this is like a sweet, little bit spicy, kind of overall bakery scent. And it's just rich. There's like some buttery notes to it. Oh, just really good. There's some cinnamon. So it just, it's like a, it's an uber cookie bakery scent. Really, really good. So that is a delicious one. And that, again, that one is one that you can kind of melt probably year round if you like bakery scents. It doesn't just have to be for Christmas. Okay, so this next one is like one of her little mini grubby loaves. And these I can usually get two melts out of. I cut them in half. And so this is North Pole Bakery. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, gingerbread, waffle cone, and butter brickle. It is a little bit messy. Sorry that the bag is, is kind of messy. I've been smelling them a lot since I got the order. But this is really good. I definitely think the top notes are the gingerbread and then the pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not picking up any of the waffle cone, but that's usually just kind of, um, you know, an, um, that tends to be a lighter scent in general. And I'm not distinctly smelling butter brickle. It really just reminds me of a pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles and gingerbread, but really good. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a spicy bakery really good scent. Um, so two more from what I purchased or from what was in the, the restock order. Um, I purchased all of this, but okay. So this is elf sweat and this is a fantastic scent. This, um, you can get it from many different vendors and I think it's pretty much the same across all the vendors, but the scent description is magical blend of candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles. So you definitely get the effervescent note in this. It's just sweet and sugary and effervescent-y. And it's so delicious. It smells so good. It really kind of ha is very reminiscent of like, um, kind of like a having like a 7-Up or a drink, but there's something extra to it. So good. 
Mm. So anyhow, excited to have that one. And I have melted Elf Sweat before. Um, did I, have I melted it from Crystal before? I don't remember, but that's okay. I know I love it. Winter Wonderland, and it's another four pack of the snowflakes, which are just gorgeous. And this is Vanilla Bean Noel, Buttercream and Toasted Marshmallow. So this is just a sweet, creamy scent. It's a little light on cold, but that, you know, those are all kind of lighter notes to begin with. And I'm mostly picking up the Vanilla Bean Noel and the Buttercream. I'm not really getting much of a toasted marshmallow note, but hopefully this, this one may need to just cure a little bit longer because it was just poured at the end of November. And with those scents being a little bit lighter, it just may need a little extra cure time, maybe. Um, oh, and then two more. Sorry, I thought I forgot about these because I had them off to the side. So these are really cute little gumdrop shapes. Isn't that adorable? So let me take one out. So they're little. You definitely would have to melt a few of these at a time, maybe several at a time. Um, but you get a bag of these little gumdrops. This is in jingleberries, so it's mulberry cranberry with a splash of orange and a touch of vanilla. And you really get that overall kind of citrusy, cranberry, orange, very fresh scent. It's not very sweet. I'm not really picking up much on the vanilla on cold. But this is just a very good kind of fresh fall cranberry orange scent. It's very, very good. So excited for that one. I'm excited for all of these, so I probably could stop saying that. Huh? And then the other bag of the cute little gumdrops. This one is in Santa's Breakfast. And this is eggnog, cinnamon buns, stuffed French toast, and sticky maple syrup. I'm mostly getting the cinnamon buns on cold. Cinnamon is such a strong scent, it's really hard for something else to kind of overpower it. I get a hint of the eggnog, which I love eggnog scents. Okay, little little accident there. Sorry, I dropped my camera. Hopefully I will be, at, be able to edit out that little bit where I um, dropped my camera over. Anyways, so this is just a really good kind of cinnamony, eggnoggy kind of just really fall scent I guess you know um, it reminds me more of fall probably than Christmas but it is very good this is a scent that I think I can continue to melt while the weather is cold um, even beyond you know Christmas and fall and I think we're actually should be getting out of fall soon what's the first day of winter today is December 17th or 18th today's a Wednesday so whatever day it's 17th or 18th um, winter should be starting soon officially, right? So then from the, so that was everything I purchased with the Black Friday sale. Then the rest of this is all from the Christmas sampler. And so scents that I've already talked about, um, that I got more of, this is a three pack in Elf Sweat, which I love this scent. So I am definitely happy to have more of this. And it's in the cute little snowflake imprint little discs. So super, super cute. I'll just stick that over there. Then I also got a four pack of the wreaths and elf snacks, which this one was the sugar cookie, marshmallow, wait, and peppermint. Did I talk about this one? Oh yeah, it was in these little, the little discs. Okay, so I did talk about that one. Um, I can't keep them all straight, but anyhow, so I got that. Then I got this huge, massive, Christmas tree. So this is bigger than those other little trees, if you can see. So this is definitely at least two, maybe three melts if you're going to melt some in a smaller area. But this is a big old Christmas tree. And this is scented in winterberry. And this is so good. Um, this is cool, crisp scent of peppermint and an assortment of sweet, delicious berries. So don't quote me on this, but I feel like this reminds me of Vintage Chic Scents Beach Blanket Bingo. I think that's the scent. I'm not 100% sure. I went into my stash to see if I had one of those left still to compare, and I don't. At least I couldn't find it in the couple minutes I was trying to look. 
um, but it's similar to tinsel in the sense in the sense that you have like a sweet fruitiness mixed with kind of a minty note. But this is berries versus where I think tinsel is more melon. I think I have tinsel in here somewhere. Or no, this is tinsel is berries as well. So I don't know. It's similar to tinsel. It's like in that kind of same style of the fruity sweetness mixed with like the mintiness. But this is fantastic. I love it. So love this one. Super excited to get it. And I'm glad that with the um the Christmas sampler pack, there wasn't a lot of duplication between what I ordered in her opening versus what she sent me in this. So I got a two pack of snowflakes in sleigh bells. Oh, that's kind of blurry. And this is holiday berries with sweet vanilla. There's two A's there at the end. So I'm definitely getting like a sweet berry note. I feel like I'm getting um, either like a hint of mint or like an effervescent note or something. Something a little extra to that berry scent. And then I'm getting the sweet vanilla. This is really fantastic scent. I wish I had a little bit more of this one. But this is really, really good. So... That is delicious. I'm really happy with everything I got in this order for these two two orders, I guess. Sorry, that keeps going very blurry. Um, I got another three pack of these cute little snowflakes. Ah, snowflake imprints. I'm having some issues. Sorry, guys. This is in Snow Angel. So this is the one that I had. Oh, wait. So maybe this was a, this one was a duplication, too. I have Snow Angel, don't I? Didn't I talk about it already? Yes, I talked about it over here in a four pack of snowflakes. So I've talked about this one, the strawberry peppermint cotton candy, but I love it. So yay, I have more. Love, love, love that one. Um, Let's see. Got this massive snowflake. And I have a snowflake shape or I had a snowflake shape like this from last year when I um, first ordered my first ever order from Crystal. Um, and you can get, I think I got, when I melt in my living room, I will usually put one scent in two different warmers to really help fill up the whole area because it fills up my kitchen, living room, and dining room. Um, so with this shape, what I did is I cut it in half. And then each half, I cut that into like, half again and put it in two different warmers. So I got overall two uses out of it, but I did um, each time put like a quarter of it into a warmer. But this is in Frosted Peppermint Cream Cake. And this is Frosted Vanilla Cake with Peppermint Cream. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's bakery sweet cake with frosting. It's delicious and there is a sweet kind of candy cane peppermint type note to it. It's not overpowering on the peppermint, but it is very, very good. And I love peppermint scents year round. So even if I don't melt them all during Christmas, I will definitely continue to use them. I got this cute little gingerbread man, very pink and very sparkly. And this is in Sweet Pink Holiday which is frosted pink cake and vanilla be Noel. And the pink is definitely pink sugar because I can smell the pink sugar. So this smells like a vanilla cake with pink sugar and I'm getting a hint of the vanilla be Noel, but it's just a sweet and creamy and cakey pink sugar. Fantastic. If you love pink sugar mixed with bakery scents, this is a, this is a great blend. I'm running out of room here in front of me. Okay, just a few more. This is another one of those loaves. And this is honey dipped pumpkin rolls. It's sweet honey, pumpkin, and fresh baked rolls. What I'm mostly getting out of this right now is the pumpkin. And it's a spicy pumpkin a, with a good hit, 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 a good hit of um, cinnamon. So it's good, but it is pretty strong on the cinnamon, at least on cold. And sometimes I find when I melt stuff, um, that on cold seems to have a lot of cinnamon, but sometimes when I warm it, it'll kind of mellow that cinnamon out, so we will see. 
This one is super cute. It's a four pack of these cute little cinnamon rolls which have an icing on them. Isn't that adorable? And this is in chestnuts and brown sugar, which is a delicious blend of caramel and rich maple combined with chestnuts and buttery cream. And this is, this is heaven. It just smells like sweet cream and butter and sugar and a little bit of a caramel note. But it's sweet and it's creamy and it's sugary. Very, very good. I'm just going to kind of set that right there <laughs> as I run out of room. Okay, so the last one is tinsel. Oh, delicious. So this is pomegranate, strawberries, raspberries with a subtle hint of fresh peppermint leaves and fresh vanilla. And tinsel is one of those scents that, you know, most vendors do carry. And it's fantastic. It's a scent I can melt year-round. Um, I love all the sweet berries in it the strawberries the raspberries the pomegranate to me it just smells like an overall sweet berry scent it's it's not like i can smell oh i can smell strawberries and raspberries and pomegranate i don't know it just smells like sweet berries with peppermint so good so i love those cute little grubby stars in there in pink so that is really really cute so that is my rainbow melt haul Definitely stocked up with her stuff. Lots of great Christmas scents. Really excited to melt this stuff. I don't know. Well, at this point, I was going to say, I don't know if she's going to have another opening this year. And I would say at this point, probably not because next week is Christmas. So I imagine she probably won't be opening up again until January. But you should definitely, if you haven't already, join her Facebook group. That is where she makes announcements on when her openings will be. And, um... Maybe she will be opening back up her custom order list sometime soon. So if you are interested in getting on that at some point down the road, definitely be in her group because she will make an announcement there of when she's opening that list. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with a couple more videos. Thanks. Bye.